Hi. The audience want to know what's the uh, FUV donor skull look like. This is the video for it. <coughs> this client had a 2900 graph a year ago and uh, we shaved uh, his hair completely down with a clipper without a guard. And it, it, it's, it's, the scar is there but it's hard to see. The, the benefit of the FUV scar is the tiny doctor scar scattered throughout the back like a mosaic pattern and allow you to wear your hair shorter. Um, compared to the strip method, the strip method will leave you a linear scar from ear to ear. And that thing is very noticeable and people can spot you from a mile away if, if you have the linear scar. Where the FUV scar is, is so small and scattered that uh, it's very hard to detect. Again, no surgery without scar. All type of surgery have scar, but the FUV scar is, is less visible. Now, the FUV not just has less visible scar, but because we're not cutting you open, that means it's less invasive. That means less side effect, less painful, um, less chance of infection, uh, recovery is more pleasant, it's faster recovery. Uh, the only downside of the FUV is the cost. It's more expensive. In terms of the result, I mean, with my work, and I'm an FUV specialist, and I do both FUV and the strip. When we first graduate from training, we always learn how to do the basic with the strip method. Only a very few uh, handful of us can do the FUE method. And and again, and, and I do both. I mean, I've been doing FUE for over 11 years, so, uh, and, and that's including strip. And I do both, but the... Uh, but the FUE has uh, quite a bit of uh, more benefit and that's why more people are, are using the FUE. The strip method is fading out. The strip method is more for client with advanced hair loss where we need to move five, 6,000 graphs per day. With the FUE, you can do that too, but it takes many years. The maximum I set around 2,500 to 3,000 per day, although there are days I can go beyond 3,000. Thank you.